Hey guys, it's James from Dream Better English. I hope you're all doing very well today. I'm here today to help you with some of your listening English, give you some expressions, vocabulary, while looking at an article. Our article today is a culture article, which comes from the Guardian newspaper in the UK. And it's, uh, it's about a, a place in East London. There is an artist called Zabu a French-born artist from uh, who lives and works in London. And she went to the east end of London where there's a pub called the Duke of Wellington. And she asked the owners of the pub, could I use your wall to do a mural? And a mural is a big painting on a wall. They said, yeah, pretty good. Might be good business for the pub. Do whatever you like. So what she did... and. Uh, was she did a mural of a famous person in this area called Jack the Ripper. If you're not familiar with Jack the Ripper, Jack the Ripper is the nickname given to uh, this man who killed five women in 1888. These women were, uh, it says they were prostitutes, but in fact not all of them were prostitutes and this man was never found and he got the nickname Jack the Ripper. So around this neighborhood uh, of the East End, um, Jack the Ripper is very famous. And there are often tours, lots of tours of people coming, uh, well, before uh, the COVID pandemic. Um, there are places called, uh, named after him or with a wink, which means kind of like as a joke. Um, one of the places is called uh, Jack the Clippers, which is a barber shop, and a Clippers is the shaving machine you use for men's hair. Jack the Clippers. Uh, there's a fish and chip shop called Jack the Ch- uh, Jack the Chipper. So this has been a bit. What seems to be happening here is uh, instead of the victims being recognized, we have Jack the Ripper being glorified as if he were a Dracula type of character or Jekyll and Hyde, Frankenstein. Um, And this has um, this mural has annoyed some of the local people. There are local people who are indifferent or don't care. There's a lot of local people who probably enjoy it or think it's quite cool. But there's other other people who take it more seriously. And uh, as I said, this is a real person who, who killed women. And now we have his mural where wearing a, a bowler hat, um, coming out of a wall, looking crazy with his blood on his fingers. Um, you'll, you'll find it in the description, in the link, and you can see. And this type of 3D or optical illusion is called trompe l'oeil, which is French, in fact, and, and we don't change it in English we use the French expression so what happened then was one of the people uh, who lived in the same building as the pub or next door to the pub uh, one Sunday afternoon went with his friend and painted over the mural and wrote one of the names of the victims Uh, he said that um, he had uh, it, it was offensive for him that the Jack the Ripper was being glorified and then he he got in contact with the artist and asked what Did she realize who this person was, a real person? The artist said she never meant to offend anybody. She never meant to uh, glorify this person and and, and, uh, felt, well, it's a pity I put a lot of hard work into this, but I do understand that people were offended. It wasn't what I wanted to do. And anyway, art is, it's not going to be there forever anyway. Um... Uh, so, so be it. Uh, another woman was contacted who wrote a book about the five victims. And she uh, was asking beforehand uh, or before for a sculpture to be made for the five victims. Because, they're, as I said, you know, this Jack the Ripper is always being talked about, never the victims. So she said it would be a good idea if the artist were involved, the artist... Zabu, she said, yeah, that that would be good if I were to be involved in this. Um, but it's important to remember that, you know, art should be a freedom of expression. We shouldn't be cancelling art just because we don't like it. Uh, some of it we will like, some of it we won't. So, um, so there you go. That's um, 
the situation, in fact, of the mural right now is first we had Jack the Ripper, then we had the the man who painted over uh, the face of Jack the Ripper and wrote one of the victims' name, uh, Catherine Eddowes. And now, in fact, it's uh, an advertisement for a beer is there. So we're all talking about oh, what we should do. And, and, and in the end, you know, capitalism wins and we have a marketing campaign for a beer from Camden. So that was the article today in relation to uh, culture and art. You will find the link to the article from The Guardian and a link to Zabu's uh, artwork, which is very interesting. I hope it was enjoyable for you. And remember, if I'm speaking too fast, whatever platform you use, you can slow down my voice. Look at the captions on YouTube. If you like what I'm doing, subscribe so you get the episodes straight to your platform. And until next time, have a good one. Bye.